Hey there, Nicole Collins here and another online marketing lesson here, really just a business success lesson uh, because online business is uh, still a business, no different than brick and mortar business. And what I want to talk to you about today is success and the principle of success principles of success and really just one component of that today which is basically boil down to simplest form is not being afraid to fail because success is really born from failure I mean let's face it a lot of people you know that are inexperienced with with business or struggling with business you know, they envision it as this straight line shot to success. And that is just could not be the furthest, uh, could not be further from the truth. Success is not never straight line. I mean, you hear about these overnight internet sensations and overnight business uh, success stories, but the reality is that most of those people, I, you know, so I'm pulling a number out of thin air, but let's say 98%, you know, most of them, not close to all of them experienced lots and lots of failure and struggle before they hit it big and they had a big idea or they you know eventually one of their things just took off and it could have been and it, it, it's all it comes from the succession of little failures and lessons learned along the way or big failures even but you learn from those and you develop a skill set from those failures, believe it or not. I mean, those failures are really just lessons. They're incorrectly, in my view, viewed as failures. And don't get me wrong, like I get down on myself sometimes when something I tried didn't work out the way I had envisioned. But you have to bounce back. You gotta bounce back quickly. And you have to move through that as fast as you can in order to get to you know your next failure, which is only one step closer to your next success and you'd only need one success or a handful of small successes to do what you want to do which is uh, make full-time income online I assume that's what you want to do that's probably how you landed on this video uh, because that's what I teach so get out there and start making mistakes I challenge you to get out there and start making mistakes because what that means is that you're taking action and you are that much closer to the freedom and the lifestyle that you want if you're out there failing. And I know that sounds maybe counterintuitive, but it's the truth because I still fail all the time. It's really called testing, okay? You test things, you have an idea, you try it out, it works or it doesn't work. The, the whole key is not to bet the bank on one, on one thing. Test it small. You know, don't go and build out your whole funnel and your whole autoresponder series uh, for one traffic source and spend a week or two getting this all up and running, get your squeeze page up fast with a headline and see if, it, if, if you're getting opt-ins for that idea, for that traffic source, for that you know offer you put together, whatever it is, just get get some, get the Get the big pieces of it up quickly and test it quickly before you build out the whole thing. And people make that, that mistake all the time. They'll build out everything. I've done it. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. They built. I built out the whole thing, and uh, it was not maybe not you know not gonna work and doomed for whatever reason that I couldn't think of at the time from the beginning. And then I'm like, oh yeah, okay, this is probably why it didn't work. But the fact of the matter is, it's not working. Now what I do is get my ideas up quickly and as leanly and as efficiently as possible in order to test and churn and burn through them to get to the one due to the successful ideas. So if you want to call all those other unsuccessful ideas that I tested failures, go right ahead. But mistakes, you know, I don't view it that way because it's called I call it testing. And it's I get feedback. It's not failure, it's feedback. Okay, switch up your F words if you will. Uh, think about your testing and your failures as feedback from your customers, from the traffic that you're getting, and 
learn from it and tweak it. Think about why it failed and do better next time. That's it. That's all. It's such a simple concept, yet it stops so many people, including me, for a long time. And I don't want it to stop you. So take action. Fail. I challenge you to fail. All right? Because <laughs> that's how you'll get to success. Nicole Collins here, signing off for more lessons on internet marketing, online success. Head on over to my blog at internetpoweredincome.com. Again, that's internetpoweredincome.com. All right, I will see you there. Talk to you soon. Bye.